What if I told you that a single bite almost derailed one of the most iconic adventure films of the 80s? Michael Douglas, Deborah Winger, and a fateful dinner that left scars, literally and figuratively. Today, we dive deep into the explosive incident that made one co-star vow never to work with Deborah Winger again, the casting of Romancing the Stone. In 1984, the adventure comedy Romancing the Stone, directed by Robert Zemeckis, was released and became a massive success. The film starred Michael Douglas as Jack Colton and Kathleen Turner as Joan Wilder. However, the casting process for Joan Wilder wasn't straightforward. Initially, the studio's top choice for the role was Deborah Winger, known for her standout performances in An Officer and a Gentleman and Terms of Endearment. Michael Douglas, who was also producing the film, was eager to ensure the right actress was chosen for the role of Joan Wilder. Understanding the importance of chemistry between co-stars, Douglas took it upon himself to personally meet Winger. At the time, she was deeply immersed in her role for Terms of Endearment, where she portrayed a terminally ill woman. Her commitment to method acting was evident, as she spent considerable time in a hospital to embody her character accurately. Despite her busy schedule, she agreed to meet Douglas and the team for dinner to discuss the potential role. The meeting was arranged at a local Mexican restaurant chosen for its informal and relaxed atmosphere. Douglas, Zemeckis, and others hoped this setting would foster a productive discussion. As the evening progressed, the group enjoyed rounds of tequila, and the conversation flowed easily. Winger's enthusiasm for the project was apparent, and she shared her insights on how to bring the character of Joan Wilder to life. Winger discussed her vision for Joan Wilder, suggesting ways to portray her transformation from a sheltered romance novelist to a resourceful adventurer. Douglas and Zemeckis were impressed by her dedication and creative ideas. The evening seemed promising, and the team felt optimistic about the potential collaboration. However, as they were leaving the restaurant, a playful moment took an unexpected turn. Winger leaned over and bit Douglas on the arm, hard enough to break the skin. Though it was meant as a joke, the incident left him shocked and uneasy. The unpredictability of the gesture caused Douglas to reconsider working with her. He began to question whether her unconventional behavior might pose challenges during the demanding shoot for romancing the stone. The bite incident became a critical turning point in the casting decision. Although Winger's talent and enthusiasm were undeniable, Douglas had serious reservations about the potential working relationship. This unforeseen event prompted the need to explore other casting options for Joan Wilder, ultimately leading to the casting of Kathleen Turner, whose chemistry with Douglas significantly contributed to the film's success. Thus, a single, unexpected bite during a dinner in Texas changed the course of Romancing the Stone, leading to the iconic pairing of Michael Douglas and Kathleen Turner. The incident left an indelible mark on Hollywood history, illustrating the unpredictable nature of the film industry and the importance of compatible working relationships in achieving cinematic success. The Studio Meeting After the unexpected bite incident in Texas, Michael Douglas returned to Hollywood with serious reservations about casting Deborah Winger. The unpredictable behavior he witnessed left him deeply concerned about the potential challenges of working with her on the demanding shoot for Romancing the Stone. Back in Hollywood, a crucial meeting with the studio executives was scheduled. Douglas knew this was his opportunity to voice his concerns and potentially change the course of the casting decision. The stakes were high. As both an actor and producer, he had a significant investment in the film's success. In the meeting room, the atmosphere was tense. Douglas faced the studio executives, ready to explain why he believed Winger might not be the right fit for the role. He began by recounting the details of the dinner in Texas, emphasizing the positive aspects of their conversation and her enthusiasm for the project. However, he quickly transitioned to the unexpected turn of events that followed. Douglas described the playful yet troubling bite, explaining how it broke the skin and left him questioning her stability. He showed the executives the mark on his arm, saying, I can't go to the jungle with her. She bit me, look, she bit me in the arm. I can't do it, it's just not worth it. These pictures are too hard and we need to work with someone reliable. His emotional plea was met with a mix of surprise and concern from the executives. 
They understood the gravity of the situation and the importance of a harmonious working relationship on set. The studio needed to ensure that the lead actors could collaborate effectively, especially in the challenging environment of a jungle shoot. The executives deliberated on Douglas's account and weighed the potential risks. They recognized his commitment to the project's success and his first-hand experience with Winger's unpredictable behavior. After careful consideration, they agreed to reconsider their casting decision. Douglas's relief was palpable. The studio decided to look for an alternative actress to play Joan Wilder. This pivotal meeting marked a turning point in the casting process, setting the stage for a new direction. Kathleen Turner steps in. Following the decision to replace Deborah Winger, the search for a new lead actress for Romancing the Stone commenced swiftly. Kathleen Turner, known for her powerful presence and recent success in Body Heat, emerged as the frontrunner for the role of Joan Wilder. Turner brought a blend of strength and vulnerability that perfectly suited the character. Michael Douglas and director Robert Zemeckis were eager to ensure that Turner was the right fit for the role. A meeting was promptly arranged, where Turner was given the script to review. Her immediate enthusiasm for the project and her deep understanding of Joan Wilder impressed the team right away. Turner demonstrated a keen insight into the character, recognizing the nuances and depth required to portray Joan's transformation from a timid romance novelist to a courageous adventurer. During her audition, Turner showcased her remarkable ability to bring Joan Wilder to life. She portrayed Joan's evolution with subtlety and charisma, capturing both her vulnerability and her growing strength. The chemistry between Turner and Douglas was palpable from the outset. Their dynamic interaction added a unique energy to the scenes they read together, making it clear that Turner was the ideal choice for the role. Turner's audition was a pivotal moment for the production team. Her portrayal of Joan Wilder was both believable and compelling, and her chemistry with Douglas promised a dynamic on-screen relationship. With her successful audition, Kathleen Turner was officially cast as Joan Wilder. The production team felt a sense of relief and excitement about the new direction the film was taking. Turner's professionalism and dedication were evident as she prepared for the role. She immersed herself fully in the character of Joan Wilder, ensuring that her performance was authentic and nuanced. As filming commenced, Turner's presence on set brought a renewed sense of stability and focus. Her commitment to the role set a high standard for the cast and crew, fostering a collaborative and productive working environment. The change in casting proved to be a blessing for the production. The chemistry between Turner and Douglas translated seamlessly onto the screen. Their dynamic relationship, filled with tension, humor, and genuine connection, became a cornerstone of the film's appeal. Turner's ability to match Douglas's intensity added depth to the narrative, making their character's journey more engaging. Behind the scenes, Turner's presence was a stabilizing force. Her professionalism and talent inspired confidence in the cast and crew. Initial concerns about working dynamics were quickly replaced with admiration for Turner's dedication and skill. Douglas, in particular, was pleased with how smoothly Turner integrated into the production. He noted her ability to enhance the film's narrative and bring out the best in their on-screen partnership. Turner's addition to the cast not only salvaged the production but also elevated the entire project. The combination of Douglas and Turner brought a unique blend of star power and acting prowess that captivated audiences. Upon its release, Romancing the Stone received critical acclaim and achieved box office success, solidifying both actors' statuses as major Hollywood stars. The decision to cast Kathleen Turner instead of Deborah Winger ultimately defined the film's success. The initial turmoil and uncertainty were transformed into a memorable cinematic experience, largely thanks to Turner's exceptional portrayal of Joan Wilder and her undeniable chemistry with Michael Douglas. Behind the scene is confirmation. Years after the release of Romancing the Stone, the story of the infamous dinner in Texas resurfaced. Michael Douglas decided to share his version of events in various interviews and podcasts, adding more detail to the already fascinating behind-the-scenes narrative. One of the most notable recountings came on the Literally with Rob Lowe podcast. Douglas, now an established Hollywood icon, 
opened up about the biting incident, describing it with a mix of humor and seriousness. He explained how the seemingly playful gesture from Deborah Winger left him questioning the potential challenges of their working relationship. She bit me. I couldn't believe it, he told Lowe, adding, it was meant as a joke, but it made me think twice about spending months in the jungle with her. Douglas's story gained traction, capturing the interest of fans and media alike. His candid account offered a glimpse into the decision-making process behind the scenes, highlighting the delicate balance required in casting for a major film. The bite incident, while unusual, underscored the importance of compatibility and trust between co-stars, especially in a demanding production environment. Kathleen Turner, too, provided her perspective in her 2008 memoir, Send Yourself Roses, Thoughts on My Life, Love, and Leading Roles. In the book, she referenced the incident, confirming that it was a significant factor in her being cast. Turner wrote, Michael Douglas had a lot at stake in the film's success. He originally intended to have Deborah Winger in the role of Joan, but they didn't seem to get along as well as he'd hoped. They met to discuss it at a Mexican restaurant and she bit him. Or so he said. Winger's reaction to the incident and subsequent recasting was more reserved. While she never directly commented on the biting story in detail, she did address the challenges of her career in various interviews. In a 2017 interview with People, Winger spoke about her decision to step away from Hollywood at the height of her career. She mentioned that her choices were driven more by personal growth and the desire for new challenges rather than any single incident. The confirmation from both Douglas and Turner added credibility to the tale, cementing it as a memorable Hollywood anecdote. It became a part of the film's lore, illustrating the unpredictable and sometimes tumultuous nature of the movie industry. Fans were intrigued by the revelation, which added another layer to their understanding of romancing the stone and its behind-the-scenes dynamics. Deborah Winger's Perspective Deborah Winger, an actress known for her strong-willed nature and dedication to her craft, has often been candid about the highs and lows of her career. While she rarely speaks in detail about the incident with Michael Douglas, her broader perspective on Hollywood provides valuable context for understanding her side of the story. In various interviews, Winger has discussed her approach to acting and her experiences with co-stars. She is known for her method acting, which often involves deeply immersing herself in her roles. This dedication sometimes led to intense and unconventional behaviors on set, which she believed were necessary for authentic performances. Her commitment to her craft was evident during the filming of Terms of Endearment where she spent considerable time in a hospital to accurately portray a terminally ill patient. Winger's reputation for being difficult to work with stems from several well-documented clashes with co-stars and directors. She spoke about stepping away from Hollywood at age 40, a choice driven by personal reasons rather than professional conflicts. The parts that were coming I wasn't interested in. I'd already done that or I'd already felt that. I needed to be challenged. My life challenged me more than the parts, so I dove into it fully," she explained. Her departure from mainstream Hollywood wasn't an abrupt exit, but a gradual shift towards roles and projects that resonated with her personal growth. Winger focused on theater and independent films, where she found more creative freedom and less of the high-pressure environment of major studio productions. This move allowed her to pursue her passion for acting, without compromising her principles or dealing with the unpredictability of Hollywood's demands. Despite the biting incident being a significant turning point in her career, Winger has maintained a dignified silence on the specifics. In her interviews, she has acknowledged the complexities of her relationships with co-stars, including Richard Gere and Shirley MacLaine, but rarely delves into detailed recounts of past conflicts. This approach reflects her desire to move forward rather than dwell on past controversies. Her comments about Hollywood often highlight her view of the industry as a place filled with superficiality and intense competition. I don't know what Hollywood is. I'm living under the freaking sign now, and I just stare at it and laugh," she remarked in the same People interview. This perspective underscores her disconnection from the traditional Hollywood scene, focusing instead on more meaningful and fulfilling pursuits. Reactions from co-stars The incident between Michael Douglas and Deborah Winger left a lasting impression, 
not just on them, but also on their peers in Hollywood. The bite incident, although peculiar, was not entirely out of character for Winger. Known for her intense approach to acting and sometimes contentious relationships with co-stars. Reactions from other actors who worked with her provide further insight into her complex personality and working style. Richard Gere, who co-starred with Winger in An Officer and a Gentleman, had a famously tumultuous relationship with her during filming. Their on-screen chemistry was palpable, but off-screen, tensions were high. In various interviews, Gear has acknowledged the difficulties, describing their relationship as volatile. Despite the challenges, the film was a critical and commercial success, showcasing Winger's ability to deliver compelling performances even in strained environments. Shirley MacLaine, Winger's co-star in Terms of Endearment, also had her share of friction with the actress. MacLaine once described Winger as volatile and a brilliant talent capturing the duality of her professional presence. Their dynamic was fraught with tension, but much like with Gear, it resulted in powerful performances that contributed to the film's success. McLean has spoken about the intensity of working with Winger, noting that their clashes were often a byproduct of their dedication to their craft. In her own words, Winger has admitted to being difficult at times. She acknowledged the clashes with her co-stars and directors, attributing them to her passion for authenticity in her performances. This passion sometimes manifested in ways that were challenging for those around her, but it also led to some of the most memorable and critically acclaimed roles of her career. Kathleen Turner, who ultimately took the role of Joan Wilder in Romancing the Stone, also reflected on the situation. In her memoir, Send Yourself Roses, Turner mentioned the biting incident and Douglas's reaction to it. Turner acknowledged that stepping into the role under such circumstances added pressure but also provided an opportunity to prove herself. Her professionalism and talent helped to smooth over any lingering concerns from the production team, and she quickly became a respected and beloved figure on set. The reactions from Winger's co-stars paint a picture of a fiercely committed actress whose dedication sometimes bordered on the extreme. These intense dynamics often led to unforgettable performances, even if they came at the cost of personal conflicts. Winger's approach to acting, while controversial, underscored her commitment to her roles and her unwillingness to compromise her artistic vision. Other actors in Hollywood have shared mixed reactions to Winger's reputation. Some admired her for her dedication and authenticity, while others found her methods difficult to work with. The Bite in Popular Culture The unusual incident where Deborah Winger bit Michael Douglas has become a legendary anecdote in Hollywood lore. Over the years, this story has been referenced and retold, solidifying its place in popular culture. The bite incident exemplifies the unpredictable and sometimes bizarre nature of the film industry, capturing the imagination of both fans and industry insiders. Various television shows, podcasts, and articles have recounted the story, often with a mix of humor and incredulity. The story gained renewed attention after Douglas's recounting on the Literally with Rob Lowe podcast. His detailed and humorous description of the event reignited interest, leading to a flurry of discussions and media coverage. This incident became a symbol of the quirky and sometimes tumultuous relationships that can develop on movie sets. Comedians and late-night talk show hosts have also used the story as fodder for jokes and skits. The sheer absurdity of the situation makes it a perfect topic for humorous commentary. Shows like Saturday Night Live and The Tonight Show have referenced the incident, using it as a punchline to illustrate the eccentricities of Hollywood actors. These comedic takes keep the story alive in public consciousness, ensuring it remains a part of entertainment folklore. In addition to mainstream media, the incident has been discussed in various industry circles. Film critics and historians often cite the bite when discussing the making of Romancing the Stone, and the dynamics between its cast members. It serves as a cautionary tale about the importance of chemistry and compatibility among co-stars, highlighting how off-screen interactions can significantly impact on-screen performances. The Bite has also inspired references in other films and TV shows. Writers and directors fascinated by the story have woven similar incidents into their plots, drawing inspiration from the real-life drama. 
These nods to the Douglas Winger bite incident serve as Easter eggs for keen-eyed viewers, adding layers of meta-commentary to their works. The anecdote has even made its way into academic discussions about film production and actor dynamics. Film studies courses sometimes include the story in their curriculum to illustrate the challenges of casting and the unpredictable nature of working with method actors. It provides a tangible example of how personal interactions can influence professional decisions and outcomes in the film industry. Beyond its entertainment value, the story has a certain enduring appeal because it humanizes the actors involved. It shows that even Hollywood stars, often seen as larger-than-life figures, can have surprisingly relatable and absurd experiences. The bite incident strips away the glamour, revealing the raw and sometimes chaotic reality of filmmaking. Her intense dedication to her roles while leading to memorable performances sometimes resulted in unconventional behavior. This incident is a perfect encapsulation of her unique approach to acting and the sometimes unforeseen consequences it can bring.